Hello and welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing how to load a local HTML file into a view and how to call a JavaScript function in the HTML file from Flutter and pass parameters to it. So let's start. And as usual, I'll be starting with an empty template. I just have a container in my UI right now. So the first thing you have to do is to add the webview plugin in the pubstruct.yaml file. So I have already added it. I'll be providing the link in the description. So let's go back to our main UI. And now I'm going to import the packages. So first one we need is the dart convert package. And next one is the webview package. Now I am going to change the container widget to a webview widget. And let's give the properties. The first one is the initial URL. So I'll be giving it as an empty so it will load nothing. And JavaScript, let's make it unrestricted. And when the webview is created, we will get the webview controller. So let's leave the function empty for now. And we are going to add a floating action button on top of the webview. So floating action button. And the child will be an icon. And let's give icon start add. And on press of the button, we'll be calling a function, but let's leave it now. And now I'm going to the root of the project and I'll be creating a folder files. And let's create a test.html file inside it. Let's write some HTML. So HTML and body and a head tag. Inside head tag, we are going to write some JavaScript. So let's write a JavaScript function. So I'm going to call it function add, which will take two, two numbers and add it. And the result will be shown in the HTML. So before that, let's add a meta tag so that HTML will be properly scaled to the mobile UI. So content will be the device width. Content width will be the device width and the scale initial scale will be two. Okay. Now let's add a paragraph tag with an ID of result. So we will be showing the result inside this paragraph tag. So get the element by calling get element by ID result and set the inner HTML to num1 plus and append a plus symbol plus num2 plus append and equals and the result. Okay. All right. Now let's add the files folder the pubstrict.yaml file so that the app can access it. Now a string file path under file slash test.html and let's write a function load HTML file from assets which is an asset plus function. So declare a string file HTML contents is equal to await root bundle dot load string with the file path. Now to load the HTML, we will need a webview controller. So let's declare a variable, webview controller, and initialize it when the webview is created. Okay, now call webview controller dot load URL. So URL will be URI dot data from string file HTML contents and the bind type will be text slash HTML and the encoding encoding dot get by name UTF dash eight and convert that to a string. Okay. Now call this function when the review is created. Okay. So I'm reloading the app. So nothing is being displayed because there is nothing in the HTML to display. So let's try something. Hello from Flutter. Reload the app. So there you can see the HTML content. Now the next thing we are going to do is to call this add function from Flutter. So for that, I'm going inside the 
on press of the floating action button and call webpcontroller.evaluate javascript with the function name add and let's pass in the parameters 10 and 10 reload the app click the button so there you can see it is added up and shown in the ui okay so that's all in this video hope you understood how to load a local html file into a view in flutter and how to call a javascript function in the html from flutter if you like the video please don't forget to like subscribe and share also leave your valuable comments below in the comment box hit the bell icon for notifications and thanks for watching